BPH is a common condition that affects men as they age. In this short video you will learn about BPH, its symptoms, treatments, risk factors, as well as surgical options. The prostate gland enlarges. If you have benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, men have a walnut-sized gland called the prostate. Your urethra, the tube via which urine and sperm leave your body, is encircled by your prostate gland, which is located just below your bladder. Semen is created when fluid from your seminal vesicles and prostate interacts with sperm cells. When you urinate normally, pee leaves your body through the remainder of your urethra. After passing through the portion of your urethra inside your prostate, as you age, your prostate gland may get larger for unidentified causes. Your prostate may enlarge to the point that it compresses the portion of your urethra that passes through it if you have benign prostatic hyperplasia. Because of this, when you urinate, your enlarged prostate may cause your urine to leave your body more slowly. If your prostate is not treated, it may enlarge and worsen the flow of urine. This can prevent your bladder from emptying completely. If you can't urinate, go see a doctor immediately. Risk of BPH if you are 40 years of age or older. Have a family history of BPH, are obese, have heart or blood vessel disease, have type 2 diabetes, don't exercise, or have erectile dysfunction, your risk of developing benign prostatic hyperplasia is increased. Signs of BPH, frequent urination or the urge to urinate, especially at night. A weak or interrupted urine stream and straining to urinate are all signs of benign prostatic hyperplasia. The inability to urinate, damage to your bladder and kidneys. Urinary tract infections, bladder stones, and blood in your urine are all potential problems of untreated benign prostatic hyperplasia. Your doctor could advise careful waiting if you have benign prostatic hyperplasia and have moderate or no symptoms which involves having your prostate tested annually to make sure your symptoms or health are not becoming worse. Prescription. Your doctor might prescribe drugs like alpha blockers or PDE5 inhibitors, which are used to treat erectile dysfunction if your symptoms are moderate and annoy you. These two drugs ease the muscles in your bladder, urethra, and prostate. Your urine flow may be improved as a result. Additionally, 5-alpha reductase inhibitors may be recommended. By shrinking the size of your prostate over several months, this medicine aids in improving urine flow. One or more of these medications may be given to you. Surgery. Your doctor can advise a surgical treatment called transurethral resection of the prostate or TERP if medication isn't easing your symptoms. In order to access your prostate during this surgery, your surgeon will put a device called a resect oscope into your urethra. After that, tissue will be removed with the help of a wire loop on the resect oscope in order to widen your urethra. Other minimally invasive forms of this sort of operation remove all or part of your prostate gland using lasers, microwaves, radio waves, or electrical energy from tools inserted through the cystoscope. Your doctor might advise an open prostatectomy if your prostate is particularly large. Your lower abdomen will be cut during an open prostatectomy by your surgeon. Your surgeon will first expose your prostate. Before making an incision in its outer capsule, your prostate's tissue will then be removed and the capsule incision will be stitched shut. Your skin incision will next be stitched or stapled shut. Although benign prostatic hyperplasia cannot be prevented, Making the following lifestyle modifications can lessen your symptoms. Avoid taking drugs that can impair your ability to urinate, such as antihistamines and decongestants. Cut back on fluid intake for a few hours before night. Abstain from alcohol and caffeine-containing beverages. And try to double void to empty your bladder. Urinate, wait a time, and then try to urinate once more to double void. Inform your healthcare practitioner about benign prostatic hyperplasia to learn more. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to get regular updates on my channel.